let's talk about the midterm exam. Uh, so here are the general rules. The exam has a deadline, but no timer. So the exam will be available uh, from 3.40 today until next Thursday uh, before midnight. But within this time, uh, you can spend as long as you need to take the exam. There's no timer. It is a take home open book exam. You can submit as many answers as you want, and I will only give you the highest grade. So if you submit your answer and you later realize, oh, I forgot to say something, you can come back, submit a new answer, and I will only grade the best one. I only give you the highest grade. Your answer must be in English. The exam is open book, and this means that you can use any resource that you can find. Uh, you can use your notes from the class. You can go to the library. You can go online. You can rewatch the lectures I gave each week. You can even write me an email to ask me questions. The only thing you cannot do is talk about the exam with other people. If you want to talk about the exam, you can only talk about it with me. In your answer, you must mention specific details from the short film that I, I'm going to ask you to watch. You can't just talk about the film generally. You have to give me specific details. So uh, if you give me a general answer in English with no details, you will get 50% of the grade. Uh, so and the max grade is 40 points, so you will get 20 points. You have to give me some kind of detail in order to get 60% or 24 points. Now you can look at other sources of information. You don't have to. The exam is designed so that you can answer the question without looking at any other resources. But if you do use information from resources outside of this class, please give me the name of the source, the web address or page number, and put it in parentheses after the information. So uh, don't just give me all of your sources at the end of your answer. Every time you mention something that you find from somewhere else, at the end of that part of your answer, uh, use a parentheses to give me the source of that information. That way I know which parts of your answer are taken from which outside source. You can write your answer elsewhere and then copy and paste it into Moodle. You don't have to keep Moodle open all week. Now, if you do look at outside sources. You must give me the source. If I find out that you used another source for part of your answer and you did not give me your source, that is called plagiarism. This applies even to the smallest things, even for like a summary of the short film or the basic idea of one of the concepts. It doesn't have to be an important part of your answer. As long as it's copied from somewhere and you don't give me your source, that is plagiarism. Plagiarism will get you a score of zero. This exam is worth 40 points of your final grade, so if you plagiarize and I catch you, you're probably not going to pass the course. This also includes information you find from a Chinese source and translate into English. If I can tell where you copied from, then it's plagiarism.
Uh, I found a really interesting article in Chinese about plagiarism. You can uh, read that if you're interested. There's really no reason for you to plagiarize because you're allowed to use outside sources. You just have to tell me where you found the information and which part of your answer is from that source. That's it. Now I said that I don't recommend that you look at outside sources. The main reason is because, especially for the less important parts of your answer, if you look at an outside source and the source does a very good job of explaining it, then when you write your answer, you may accidentally use similar language with the source that you looked at. So you're not copying, but because the source is so good, that language has stuck in your mind. And so you may find it hard to explain the same idea using your own words. Even accidental plagiarism is still plagiarism. So if you must look at outside sources, I recommend that you try to answer the question on your own first, and then if you get stuck, you can look online or elsewhere to see if other people's ideas can help you finish your answer. These are the general rules of the exam. Do you have questions? OK, let's look at the exam question. This is the question that you will have to answer. Watch Rob Savage's short film Salt. This is a link. You can click here and it will open the film on YouTube. The short film is only two minutes long, and I think there are only two lines of dialogue. And answer the, the, the following two questions. How does it make you feel? And how do you think it achieves these emotional effects? In other words, how does it do it? What feelings does it give you and how does it do that? Hint. A good answer will mention at least three details from the film. To discuss a specific moment or plot point, you can mention the immediate context, Chen Hou Wen, Chen Hou Mai Lu, and or you can add a timestamp in parentheses. So you can tell me like uh, which minute, which second, Sijian Dian. Uh, and that way I'll know exactly where in the short film you're talking about. Uh, not every piece of information has to have a specific point or context or timestamp. So you can also talk about the short film in general terms. Uh, but you do have to talk about details from the short film. Now, the best answer will discuss all of the elements that we have mentioned in class. The acting, the cinematography, the editing, the sound, and the production design. So it says at least three details, but if you want the best score, then it would be a good idea to discuss all five of these points. Uh, I said not every detail has to have a timestamp. For example, if you talk about the production design, uh, that applies to the entire short film. So you don't necessarily have to give me a specific point in the short film uh, related to what you want to say. But for something like editing and sound, these two probably you will need a specific point in the film, right? Which part of the editing or which use of the sound are you discussing? Now, the box is very big. You don't have to fill the box. In fact, if you fill the box and you keep going, the box will keep going. It's an infinite box, so don't try to fill the box. It's this big in order to encourage you to
to say a more complete answer, but don't worry about filling up the box. So that's the uh, midterm exam. Do you have questions? Yes. Hey, wait. Uh, 每位同学要提问吗? Um, the exam will begin at 340, but you can uh, begin thinking about what we have talked about. Uh, Sorry. Uh, uh, right, there is no word count limit. Say as much as you think you need to say. Um, I say that you can ask me questions during the exam. Um, so far in every exam, uh, I have never refused to answer a question. So if you have any questions, please email me. Uh, okay, my other one is it production design, should it contain how much thing? Um, you can, uh, the production design is what we were discussing today, right? The environment of the story, uh, that the characters are uh, moving around and living in. So if you want to discuss the production design, you can focus on that, uh, like the background design of the story. Uh, in order to get a passing grade, you only need to discuss three details, but to get the best grade, uh, you will have to discuss all five elements that we have talked about this semester so far. Uh, proportion, it, you don't have to worry about proportion. OK, so yeah, if you have any questions uh, during the exam, please email me. OK, that's it. Good luck on this and your other midterm exams. I encourage you to finish this exam first. Otherwise, you will be finding yourself uh, doing two exams at the same time. Like you're 
normal exams during the day, and then you come home and you have to do this one, which is very annoying. So I encourage you to finish this one first. OK, good luck everyone. See you in two weeks. <laughs>